Hey love bugs, it's Riles and back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while um, and have not already, please drop a line. I would love to chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback to the content of my video and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of you know of uh, the video i said that twice but hey two times a charm um but anyways much love and light to everybody you know my image my vibration my video is very well protected so anybody who's coming towards me with ill will or in intent return back to sender except mine is going to be love and light and uplift and healing Okay, anyways, the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's facing seasons of the eagle for ultimate restoration. When I say, I, I heard this yesterday on Instagram from my girl, uh, just like your girl, Soph. You know, she she's one of them spiritual uh, gu guidance too. You know, um, I love hearing her different testimonies that she has uh, taken place in life. I can really truly resonate with it. And um, she was talking about the, the eagle. I was just like, the way she said it, I was just like, oh my God, it made me clutch my pearls and I ain't even had none on. And I was just like, oh my God. So when I was listening to it, she was talking about how uh, when the eagle gets to their year of being 40, they have to either break their talons, break their beak, you know, rip out their, you know, their uh, feathers, you know, just to be able to extend for another 30, 40 years. And if they don't, they choose to wither and die right then and there. And you really don't have a chance to live in. And I used to always wonder when I was in my feelings, when I heard that, it took me aback. You know, my feelings started getting, you know, I started getting my feelings, started getting teary-eyed. I ain't even going to lie. You know, um, where I used to be very heavy in spirit, you know, going through different things and just being able to say, you know, I'm tired of always having to be strong all the time. You know, I'm going through different things that's really heavy on my mind, heavy on my heart. And, you know, I would look up at times, you know, you, when you go out and you're just talking to nature through that, even though it may look crazy to other folks, but I'm like, shoot, nature speaks to me better than people do half the time. And they listen. They really, you know, they really do listen. And if you notice, there'll be different things like the leaves will blow or you'll see you know a certain uh bird they'll catch your eye or butterflies will pop up there, certain numbers you you know people be parked on the side of the road and you'll see a number that's really resonating with you but i will always see a big eagle that's flying over me and never thought about that and it was just like you know you're going through your, your part of life where you're gonna really have to go through this because it was just like when she was talking about that i really had to go you know you can there will be a lot of things that'll flow and hit you different like dang this is what you needed this was your spiritual confirmation for the day and i had to really look at look that up and when you're just seeing the pictures of these beautiful beings and i'm just like oh my god you know we're all going through some kind of situation where you know we have been broken in some kind of way a lot of times we don't know that pain can bring us the most ultimate power we never looked for and going through those different things you know it'll be a moment in life where we can look back at that situation it was just like if I never gone through this, I would have never known how determined I was to become a better person. And then never gone through this, I would have never known to challenge myself to see how much power I really have. And, in, in, you know, it, within me, I have not been able to understand yet. Being able to know, I'll, I'll be very cautious about my thoughts, my words, you know, my judgment, not just towards myself, but other people. You know, allowing myself to see things in a different form when, it, when it's based on confusion, you know, and it's guiding me towards clarity. We're going through that moment of restoration where, you know, it, a lot of times we got to go in that darkness. You know, they always say we're that spiritual seed. You know, when, when you want them roots strong, you're going to have to go in the dirt, you know. And it's just like you're going through different things in life where... You know, you laying down a foundation is just like you, you know, you're you're digging up your own soil. You know, you want to plant a garden and stuff like that. And when you're putting down that rich soil and stuff like that, you know, some people go to, you know, uh, I forgot what is it, Walmart or Lowe's or whatever, you know, just to get different things. And 
uh, you know, because you want a garden or you want to plant some trees or, you know, go through, you know, go through whatever. And it's just like you get the sprays and stuff like that that neutralizes everything, you know, stuff to make sure the weeds ain't going. And that's what we're doing within our lives. When we know we're taking a huge shift in life, universe will start bringing up all people that are not supposed to be there. You'll start seeing the true intent of different things that, that you really care for people or just really seeing that they're genuine or trying to see are they in, in my in my face for self is a benefit for me and us you know we well we're reciprocating or is just a benefit of them you know and it, you can go through those painful moments because you notice like anytime if you have uh you go through a spiritual awakening your job look different you know people start dropping in your out of your life like when you spray and roaches when raid uh hits the floor you know um or different things like that not trying to call nobody no roach but i'm just saying they start dropping they start disappearing and next thing you know you, you could be a person that have like a million people around you and still be feeling all alone and trying to understand that and next you know it's a turn of events that really just shook you and you just really trying to understand when i need people most why are they disappearing because the fact is when you're going on a different path you know, you'll start seeing some people are not on that same vibe as you. And it's okay. We live, we learn, we experience, and we grow. And, you know, some people are okay with just being and staying stuck in that same situation. And it's just like, girl, you changed a lot. Or, man, you changed a lot. And it's just like, if my life is pertaining to something greater, I'm going to have to be able to change my views. I'm going to have to be able to change my habits. It's not saying that my life is more greater than yours. It's just the fact is I, I, can't, I can't get comfortable with being the same. My life is, you know, my life is expected more out of me and I have to be able to do that. Because there will be different times where I've seen, you know, I've seen how much I've changed. You know, I used to always be in a club like you couldn't, you know, there wasn't no day. It was like Thursday through Sunday. You know, it will be Thursday through Sunday. I'm, I think I might have said that in a video yesterday. Where me and my homegirls and stuff like that. Girl, you know what you going to wear on Thursday? Or we going, you know, we going to the hookup like Maurice's or Rainbow's or hit the mall or something like that. Because we always have friends in them places. Like, hey, you going to meet up with us? Hey, you going to be able to get the discount? What up? What up? Now it's like me. I can't be in crowded places. Even when it was like the fact is when my girls were in school, you know. And, um, hold on. Y'all had an alarm set. Ugh. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm sitting up here fixing my food and I had to put some, you know, alarms on. But, yeah, you're going through all your different changes in your life and you really start looking at life different. And it was just like when I saw that yesterday, when I tell you so many different emotions came up because it made so much sense. Like, I can just be, you know, walking and crying because it is just like so many different things is going on through my mind. And it would be like that new part you know that's pretty much all what we're going through right now we trying to sizzle the old and appreciate the the lessons and the you know uh the things that we went through in life and really truly learn from those things and show gratitude and cherish how much d these situations and changes because a lot of times when you're going through stuff it's hard to really see the good out of that situation it's just like you don't know that that pain gives so much power this is that that point where you have to break yourself or somebody else is going to break you in a way where it's building up a structure to where it is based on truth authenticity you know keeping it real being very transparent being honest and say i'm flawed i'm not perfect you know i learned every day to be the best version of myself the only competition is what i was like five minutes ago or what i was yesterday being able to say my intentions that night whatever is on my vibration of hurting me breaking me triggering me you know keeps me heavy in emotions that i need to clearly let go of i want to be able to wake up in the morning and stay grateful you know because I placed that intention of affirmations before I went to bed so I can brighten up and give a good day today and not be praying like oh let me have a positive day today but just put it in my mindset whatever I gotta face today let me see a positive outcome on what's going on I'm gonna be that restoration of that ego that is knowing there's some kind of pain I gotta sit up here and be inflicted with for me to understand the power of the death of me you know everything that we go through every person that we meet always reroutes us to ourselves you know, a lot of times it's like you want to break away from those people and break away from things that's being said from people that are very toxic, very dark, and very heavy and projecting pain on everybody. But then you have to be able to be, yeah, that's good. But there's a part of myself I really need to go within and finding out what is it 
that this got to keep projecting towards me because a lot of times we don't realize how much we have changed until or you you see what shift is showing to you what you keep attracting it could be somebody that's been in your life for a while and you can see the more you heal the more you change and it's just like you know it's not placing judgment on people because i ain't even gonna lie i used to do that but then it's like hey you need to stop doing that not everybody move in the structure of your healing you can't get mad at people because they're not ready to heal when you're healing you know that's that's not only let God, God judge that you can just put prayers on for that person because they may be going through something and it's just like okay I need to go ahead and heal or okay this is something that I had to truly appreciate because this done taught me so much it's like my toxic relationship to say know my worth know if you love yourself there's going to be certain things that you just not going to tolerate you just not going to entertain you're not going to condone and just be like certain things that's just meant for it to be a reply just that silence is the best reply possible and you're going to allow yourself to learn if I didn't go through this I, would, I, would I really know what true love was and toxicity trauma bonding karmic cycles karmic attachments you know negative talk negative thinking if I did not even allow myself to connect with that I really wouldn't know what I really needed to change this is my moment of restoration I'm going to have to go through some kind of pain because if you can set up you, you see eagles that can be very scary <laughs> they can be huge and be very beautiful creatures but I did not know this is what happened because this is just like no matter how old you get I'm like I'm 45 and I'll sit up here and I don't learn new stuff every day and I'm very grateful for that because there'll be times you're going through different changes and there'll be something that comes to you as a spiritual confirmation to say people understand that pain that you face on a daily basis you'd be surprised because there's a lot of people that don't don't um, be talking about stuff like that because they want to be you know they want to be seen as strong or it's like whatever they're going through you know you really don't see it because there's a lot of youtubers that's out here that you know stay on they only want to project the good and not saying that something wrong with it everybody got their flow of content how they create stuff you know i'm not judging nobody but everybody got their moment because i'm a content creator myself and it was just me being able to show the funny side of me the goofy side that's what hey Oakers do but also being able to allow y'all to see me in my vulnerable moments being able to learn there are certain things i shouldn't be talking about you know learning about because it'd be certain things i'll, I'll, I'll say in a video and then i'm like okay i'll put this out for tomorrow and then i'll be on my mind like is that the view of how you are right now or are you going back and thinking about some stuff or are you you know you having that 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 surface vomit that is coming up that's no longer needed you know or this is still heavy on your heart so this is something you don't need to be placing out and and, and you know keep allowing yourself to keep going through that cycle you you stepping out of that hamster wheel so you had to be able to do that hold on y'all to be able to go stop my food again go take it out of the oven yeah uh, y'all i'm back but yeah you're going through different things that this is your season of restoration this is your season to break through this is your your season from a, a bounce back a come up you know anything that you you just been hearing and you hearing it on repetitive this is that spiritual confirmation that that's true you know and you're going through those moments and like i said when i heard sister sophia sit up here and talk about that and i was just like there she go again but some kind of you know it's like anytime i get like a quote from somebody i already know i'm gonna give them their props for that i'm gonna get a flower i'm not gonna claim nothing i'll be like oh yeah i got this no i'm gonna give you know them folks some flowers because it's like you know it, it's a blessing when you can get um, a lesson from somebody else going through their moments of struggle because a lot of times we, we want the glory but we don't want the story with other people we can see them going good but it's just like the truth of the matter is a lot of us whether we care to admit it or not we can see somebody in their best moments and like I want to be that person I want to be like that but not understanding they had to work hard to get there there's some people that got an easy route like you know I, i've seen different people that it can you know come up with a thousand views within five minutes or they got a million subscribers like that because they known people that known people and you know that's all good you know i say that's all good in the hood i'm not gonna have no judgment on that you know but there's a lot of us that gotta start from scratch where you don't have nobody that you know that's already out there that already got a huge social media following because a lot of people do gaming a lot of people do pranks you know celebrity gossip and stuff like that you know but there'll be a time where you're set on your vibration and you got to start from the ground up you know and you really got to work out you got to put yourself out there 
and this is at that time where you it, it's going it, it's going to be at moments where you know where it's not going to come at easy you know you if you blessed to get to that point where you got to do something from a month to six months and you blowing up god bless you because you know you you moving fast you got serious with yourself because sometimes we can get beside ourselves and feel like oh you know especially when you're doing videos and you know there's different time i'll tell people shoot i've been doing this for six years you know i had people doing all they can to block me on stuff like that but i had to allow myself to not let that get in the way of what I'm doing for myself and I, I had to learn that don't allow your enemies to sit up here and stop for what you're doing because you give them exactly what they want there's a lot of times where I tell people they'll email me like Rosalind I had somebody flag my video for something and I'm just looking like and I'll go look at the video and stuff like that because I always give corrective criticism I said look you know uh, you 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 come connected with me like that and I don't you know if you want me to help you out or whatever you know I've been doing this for a while I mean I might not be be bigger anything like that but I'll give that that person that that you, you trying to get there I've had people that come and tell me the same thing and I let them know that and I give props to people I was like shoot uh what was her name New Orleans God and Gardner I haven't seen her in a while um she helped me out I had uh uh, Yankee uh, Great Outdoors um, that helped me out. You know, even had me on a couple of uh, stand-ins. You know, put my videos and stuff out there. And I had blessings like that. So I want to be able to put other people out there too. It's like, hey, you got to change. You know how you say things because a lot of times, like, shoot, I used to cuss all the time. I cuss like a daggone sailor, and just started clearing up on that. And I said, when we're on this path, we're trying to learn better. We're trying to do better. We're trying to speak better, see better. And a lot of times, it's like. I was always in that mind frame when you cuss a lot you the person is telling the truth <laughs> you know I used to be like that and but it was just like you can be telling the truth but you don't have to be you know saying the D word F word every time you go around I mean you can speak how you want to or whatever it is what you do but if you be in God toward like hey you know kind of clean up your language a little bit or hey you know if you're not being offensive towards nobody because a lot of times when I speak on things I'm like God, allegedly these things happen you know you don't know for a fact it'll be certain things that will happen out you know in current events and stuff like that it'll really get up under my skin and it's just me giving me my opinion because folks be quick to be wanting to sit up here and demonetize you or get you you know sued because this folks is like these celebrity blogs there's a lot of celebrity gossip rock bloggers is getting daggone sued left and right. I ain't trying to be in that equation because I'm like, shoot, you trying to sue me, you'll but be practicing because you ain't, <laughs> you ain't about to do anything. But then I tell them, you know, there's a lot of times you be dead on something. And I be telling people like that. You got to think outside the box. And sometimes it, it, it can be upsetting when somebody come and flag you. Because they see that you dead on something. They see that you stumbling on something. They're they going to be triggered about. Because a lot of times you got to understand. When you're doing stuff like this. And there's people that's out there. You know there's a lot of people I watch. That's on that same vibe as me. My my homegirl. Uh, Pretty Boss TV. You know. Uh, Stephanie Smith. Um, uh, the Pastor Ethel. You know different people like that that I really like and there'll be different times where you could be saying the most positive thing and somebody gonna project some daggone negative out don't allow somebody to make you just want to give up like that you doing exactly what that folk wants you to do because people get upset with you when you telling the truth because people are comfortable with living a lot and that shadows out what their character is that title you know, people will get jealous of you and intimidated by you because your character stand very strong. You ain't got to sit up here and say, hey, look at me or hey, let me talk about this person just to get your attention. You're not doing that. You keeping it real. And when you vibrate like that, there's a lot of people that's going to, I mean, I've even had the most positive video out and somebody flagged it because I was telling the truth about family members and junk like that. And it was just like, okay, uh, uh, but I'm still going to keep doing it. You know, I'm going to keep on doing it because it was something very positive I was going through. But it was in that vibration where it was like victim mentality or whatever. And it, it was just like, you know, hey, don't that was just a hiccup on your bed. Or, you know, it's going to be a hiccup on their bed. Whatever's going on, it's going to come back and catch them in. But, you know, if it's doing something that, that, that's trying to uh, cripple somebody. And I'll tell somebody real quick. Don't let that, if you know you're doing something and it's the truth and you stand by that, you keep standing by that. I don't give a dag who flag you. Because when they see that they done got up under your skin about something like that, they're going to keep doing it. You know, I've had people that come up and, and want to joke about, oh, the quality of my videos and this and this and that. And I'll be looking. And I'm just like, 
I'm just trying to understand. You really showing me you are very bothered by the little stuff that I do because you got more views than me. You got more subscribers than me, you know, and, and you're living your regurgitated daggone experience. Why are you all here worried about what I'm saying? Why are you doing that? You know, and that just showed me I had to laugh about it at times because I just had to laugh and shake my head and just be able to say people will show the ugly and the insecure of themselves in the most clearest way they can possible. And you have to be able to know this is that, that thing where it's not being uh, conceited or anything like that. It lets you know you on something. I always tell people real real quick, if somebody ain't trying to block you, ain't trying to hate on you, ain't trying to push negativity your way, or trying to you know say the most dir dirtiest things about you, even lying if they have to to make you look, make people look sideways at you, you must be having something good going on. If you ain't got nobody trying to stop you, it's like, hey, you know, hey, that that's okay. You know, let them go ahead and talk. Oh, yeah, you're good. You know, they, they, you really don't have nothing going on. But when you got folks that's going out their way. And getting pissed off just by looking at the stuff that you're doing. I said, if you know you're going to come up and be bothered by the stuff that somebody's doing, quick fix. Don't watch it. Don't go on nobody's daggone Instagram. Don't go on nobody else's social media when you know that you got a vibe about that person. And you get mad because they're, they're, they're moving in life. They're changing in life. They're going up in life. Even if you, you making nothing into something. You know, and you're growing into that. That that that's that's a lot of things that somebody else's personal problem and not yours. You're going through that moment of restoration in your life. You know, and these are the different things where you're gonna experience it and you're gonna experience it heavy. And I tell anybody when you're on that path of uncovering something about yourself that you have been, you know, uh, assigned to. You know what I'm talking about? I was like, what's the best word you can do? You know, you're assigned to something in your life. You're a light worker. So certain things in your life is going to be uncomfortable. There'll be certain things in your life you have gone through that it make you feel shameful. And I'm here to tell people. I, I'm like, if you want to watch my videos, you know, heard me talk about some things that I, I may not want people to know. But it'll be just certain times where I've seen where people are just so dead set on trying to make somebody look bad and I always tell people I had to learn the hard way you know because it was just like even though the stuff that I was going through was facts you know I had the receipts to back that up it had to be at that point like stop trying to make people look bad you know because it's going to come to a point where they're going to stumble up and, and, and people going to really see the real deal about that just allow yourself to keep doing you focus on your growth don't be focusing on people that are always trying to make you look bad in your situations but there's going to be different things that you're going to always tell people i don't said about my backstory i don't sit up here and told people about the things that i did that wasn't very you know you know it wasn't very positive but it's just like I'm not holding myself to my past. I don't care who else want to hold me there. But if I know, I let people know because we're, there's a lot of times we're out here. They're not saying everybody like that, but there's a lot of times we do worry about how people see us. Um, external validation is how you feel about yourself. You know, not everybody's going to understand your path. Not everybody's going to understand your views. There will be different things that universe and God has given you that other people aren't ready to see yet. They're not capable of seeing. They weren't assigned to see that. So it will be different things that you're going through. So that painful restoration of that eagle is in the midst of us all right now. It's either your choice to allow this to break you, make you, and make you evolve to the person you were, you were guided to be for you to remember who you truly are. Because it's like before we got here, Oh, it wasn't nothing that shook us. You know, we were some, you know, there'd be different times where they say, you know, you see that post and I have to laugh about it sometimes. I'm like, that's true that, true that. It'd be like, God be putting on things that you know that it, that you can handle. I'm like, shoot, he must think we are badass. He'd be like, yes, we are. We are. <laughs> we are. There'd be these times like, I don't feel so strong today. It's okay. It's okay to be okay and not be okay every day. You know, but this is that, that time where you don't have to tell yourself, I'm not perfect. There'll be days where it's going to be negative Nancy today. And it'll be sometimes I'm going to be powerful, positive Patty today. And then there'll be sometimes I'm going to be just petty. I mean, I ain't talking about Nikki Petty. I ain't talking about Tom Petty or being Petty Petty. But I can be petty, you know, and be in those moments. And it's just like, you know. There's sometimes we got to laugh to keep from crying. It'll be sometimes I'm in a funky mood and I'll go watch some mess. They'll just have me just dying. I'll go watch my homeboy 
uh, what is his name, Captain Crystal Charlie, that boy be sitting up here screaming an octave, I can't even reach at times, and I'm just like, I, I said I needed your goofiness for today, at least let me know that you proud about being in your weak moment, it's alright, because it's like, you making me laugh, and I be screaming up there with you too, <laughs> I'm like, ah, what, what is this, because I love daggone horrors, and it, I be telling people that's close to me, hey, you like horror reactions, you really want to laugh, because I know we get our moments, the dark moments, where we can be depressed, we can be sad about the things that's really truly out of our control, and you know it's okay to be in that moment you know but it's just like I had to be in that situation where I cannot get stuck there I refuse and it'll be one of the day where I'm sitting up here going off on God going off on my dad going um family done passed over I said you come back and tell me you're proud of me one more time when I look like I'm a nervous wreck ready to happen and a train wreck just keep on constantly just hitting it over and over again like my final first and middle destination you know we're going through that we proud of you mm -hmm. I hate to see what you would do if you were hating me right about now you're very disappointed because this mess right here is about to give me a nervous breakdown it's gonna make me go postal I ain't trying to be that but it's just like all seriousness you know this is our moment of restoration it really is. There are going to be moments where we're going to be broke, bothered, busted, and disgusted. And it's okay. Because when you build it up like that, that's the part of the experience. That's the part of the glory that's going to tell a, a very beautiful story. There's a lot of times where you're going to have to be bold. There, you know, there'll be times that I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have said that. And it'll be just like you don't know that somebody needed to hear that today. There's a lot of times we walk around here acting like Power Rangers where the, where the armoire just don't come off. You know, when I say armoire, yes, when I'm talking about armor, is the armoire. <laughs> it just don't fall off. And no, we be sitting up here like, oh, <laughs> you know, we want no moments where we get behind the door. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, when you think about that Dago Agnes from Dago Tyler Perry movie, I forgot what it's called. Funeral? I forgot when a boy was supposed to be graduating us like that. And he's like, you fell and hit that mess hard. He's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I got off the hairy plane. You know, and be going through that. But you go through those moments. To where it's going to be dark when you're trying to force to be in that light. you recognize in that light. And for you to do that, a lot of times we sit up here and it get, we get uncomfortable about talking about the dark stuff. Unless we're trying to make ourselves look a victim. Because there's sometimes we get in that vibration where I've seen it. Where people, and I'm saying, hey, this is what you're going through. But then I'll be saying, I don't want to hear that because this right here, how many people love me is getting me my attention. I'm like, oh, this is what you're doing. Okay, well, let me go ahead and unfriend you right now because this is just like, I don't need that type of attention in my life. I've been there, done that. But then it had to be at that point. Key word. You've been there. You've done that. You experience those different things. Like, you know, I'm at that vibration right now where I can see somebody who's just stuck in it, you know, in their world like that. And I just got to pray for them. Whether or not they're trying to wish something on me or not, I'm praying for you because I know what that war feel like. It was at that point where... I was just, you know, there'll be some times where God will show you where you wrecking yourself. You got, you know, that song, you know, they say you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. A lot of times God will unplug that because he's seeing how bad that situation is going to wreck you. And sometimes he's like, okay, I'm going to let you keep doing that until that karma really hits you. Because mine, it really hit me. And it hit me hard. And I'm just like, dang, I was this bad. <laughs> Girl, you were acting like the spawn of Satan. What you talking about? You know, and I was really like that. And I have no problem sitting up here saying that. It was just like, I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, yeah, I had a rough life all the time. And it's everybody else's fault, not mine. No, I did have a rough life. But a lot of my stupid dad, I played stupid games and got stupid prizes. How about that? <laughs> I really did. You know, and I had to really learn from that, grow from that. And being on that point, it's so easy to blame my parents. It's so easy to blame my, you know, my, my experience on how I grew up, what I got exposed to. But I also had to be in that situation. You know, I made some stupid daggone uh, choices. And those stupid choices, you get, gave you stupid consequences. And it's like, did you learn from that? And sometimes I had to go through it a few times until that mess really hit me hard. <laughs> like, okay, I give up, you know, and be that. And I'm very transparent with that because there will be different people that just swear up and down as everybody else and never them. You know, I, I've been there. I've done that. And I'm like, okay, you in that vibe. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go ahead and I'm going to reel myself back in because, hey, I done cleared my karma. I done paid my debt to society. I'm on my road of recovery. And I'm going to just send you your vibes. It is not my duty to unfix what you have broken. But I can give you that seed. You can show, you know, you can see what I'm doing from the facts is how you know me sometimes better than other people do. 
But and, and if you can't learn from that, hey, that that they ain't got nothing to do with me and a lot to do with you. But I'm gonna st still send you blessings because I can't force you to heal when you're not ready to do that. But I can just give you that vibration just to be able to protect you in that that moment. And we have to be that way. You know, because a lot of times I got in that vibration where I felt like when I was healing, everybody else needed to be healing accordingly too. Like, hey, hey, you see what I'm going through and this and this and that. And it's like people will see what you're going through and don't care and be want to add more to it because they, they were like, why is she trying to change? Because that mess ain't good. I'm not trying to sit up here and stay in that moment of darkness. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. I, that mess is not fun. It was like I, I was just a whole hot mess. And there was more ready to happen if I stayed there. Because I was bad. You know, I, I, I was heavy in my addictions. I didn't want to feel pain to the fullest extent. I'm like, can you give me something just to ease it? I can't deal with that. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Until you uh, understand there's a lot wrong with that. You know, and that's why I keep it, you know, I keep it very transparent. I went through stuff like that. You know, it was very uncomfortable. I won't lie. You know, what we're going through is not easy, but whoever promised it would be. You know, they'll just say it's worth it. When you get there, it'll be, you, you'll remind yourself of the beast of who you are. You understand there will be certain things that's just going to take me a moment, a lot of moment to get over. It's going to take me a lot of moment to heal it's going to allow a lot of over for me to overcome and that's okay it's teaching me a lot i may not say it's that's okay at that point because i'll be crying be ready to you know i'll be like i'm ready to fight god at at, at, at two o'clock yeah i got three fingers up in two o'clock and going straight left and pointing this way you know well that way <laughs> be going through that and they'll be at the end i'll be like i'm sorry you were right I was so wrong as always you know it was just like like he always say I know you ain't gonna like what I do different things that I'm, I'm hindering you from because I already know you ain't in that mindset to receive this right now but you're working on it and I and I appreciate that he will send you so many confirmations to say I know what I put you in you know you were still a twinkle in your dad's eye when I already said you gonna be that trauma that's gonna break all understanding you know you were doomed from the daggone womb I tell people that as soon as you came out you were fighting you yeah, coming out looking like a damn spider monkey like why did you take me out of my wharf <laughs> and my you know my watery <laughs> incubator y'all came out and broke out and all hell done broke loose and now you done brought me out here and I already know I'm a, I'm a theta and an alpha at all at one daggone time and really just don't understand you know, I've been here before. <laughs> you know, just talking like I've been here before. Like, no normal baby talk about that. Who told you that motherfucker was normal? <laughs> okay, it's just not. But you're going to go through different things. <laughs> you know, I had to get, you know, I had to bring up a little lightweight to it. Because I'm like, dang, you know, we ain't got to be heavy all the time. It's just a hell okay in me. I got to bring some kind of joke in there. Because there'll be times you have to laugh to keep from crying. And you have to understand. There are certain things that's going to really pull the inner thug out of you. You know, and just being able to know. There's times where you won't have to remind yourself. When there are certain times where you, you feel like you can't be strong. When there will be times where you have cried until you can't cry no more. Like your cry has no cry left. You be, be stuck. You know, that one where you get hit and then you can't even breathe. And that you try to get, uh, you know, one of those moments. And it'll be like that. And it, it'll be those moments where you're saying, I, I cannot be strong all the time. Nobody said you had to be. Nobody said you had to be okay every single day. There's going to be moments where it's just going to be darkness. No no, no balloons, no unicorns, no sunshine and rainbows. You in the storm or missed all storm. But it's going to show you you are the storm. Why you think it would be some, certain things that bring straight heavy disaster. And they ain't named after planets. They named after people. And that's what's letting you know you become the storm. And that's not being funny because I've seen a lot of lives and stuff just, just beating out there. It's very powerful. You know, that's what the, the lesson is about that. It's very powerful. It will wipe something out and it'll be just leaving you in disaster. And a lot of time we feel like we're that little sprinkle. And when it's just like if they felt like if our guys, our family, our ancestors did not believe that we can't overcome this darkness, this things that really truly need to stop, cease and desist that has been going on and carrying on through our bloodline, our legacy for so long that you couldn't stop that. Do you think they would have picked you? Like, no, uh-uh. This will be a one day where they'll come up with a whole new stupid trend. We can't pick them. No. <laughs> uh-uh. It just be like, oop.
No, you can't do that. But you are that one. There's the game changer. You are the plot twist. They were the one that they didn't. You were hidden in plain sight. The master of true disaster is going to start a big come up to where it's going to be a trend positivity. And you know, love thy neighbor. All of us, we bleed the same. So I don't know why I'm acting like you You a whole new different environment that's going to start a whole new plague by just looking at me. You know, we're doing that. Because it's like we can't, I get so, and I, I be like, Dad, why you got to be so sensitive? But I, I, I get mad when I look while we're placing wars. We're in divide, in, in dividends. You know, and we're, we in the same, whole same planet, right? You know, there'll be times I'm like, why well, I be looking at God like, why don't we just leave these people that just want to be knuckleheads and want to touch little kids and want to do all this daggone stuff that just want to act stupid and want to blow up everything? Why can't we leave them in the planet and we can start our whole new planet? We can do that. It's like, it'll be boring as I don't know what. It's like, love thy neighbor. It could be Mr. Rogers' neighborhood all right here. Why they sit up here and say, uh, you know, uh, what is it, He-Man and the Temple of Doom or whatever you want to call it over here. They want to be like that Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Let them be that way. We can be over here. They ain't got no insurance to cover some of that stupidity they be doing. Can we just do that? Like, no. <laughs> it, it would be too easy to do that. I need you to be changing people to where they know no matter where we from, what kind of sexual gender and the stuff that we like, the freakiness we like to do behind closed doors or whatever, if it ain't involving no pets, no children, or no senior citizens, or people with handicaps, we don't got to worry about that. You know, let's do what it do. We all different. If we all be the same, it'll be born as I don't know what. If there's only one star in the sky, it wouldn't be breathtaking. You know, we all deserve to be happy. We all need to join together. We all need to stop acting stupid because we're not from the same place. We are not the same color. We don't sit up here and talk the same. So what? That That's what makes us original and who you are. That's what we need to be doing. This is that restoration is going to be all peace and understanding. It's going to allow you to grow up and glow up in a whole new different way. You're going to look at world and, and transformation in a whole new way. And that's why you're going through it. And that is not an easy thing to do. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out and a big happy birthday to Jennifer Cheney. Much love to you, sis. You know, um, I, I got a lot of Jennifers on here, so I don't know if you just subscribed, but if you did, thank you. Welcome to the fam. You know, if you're ever needing any kind of spiritual advice or just wanting spiritual networking or just need somebody to just vent to, hit me up. Hey, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it, it's all about spiritual networking. We're all coming together to learn, to grow, you know, experiencing different things. There may be different things that I've overcome and challenges. I was able to see uh, clarity in the moments of chaos, you know, and it's vice versa. We're all teaching each other something. And we're growing lessons of blessings, you know, for reasons of seasons, you know, so I love to be a part of that. Whatever we speak on is uh, confidential and I help out the best way I can if you're interested in my podcast I got that as well or you been interested in podcasts you've been in a vibe where something's telling you hey you know let me start a new movement you know I got something to offer the world which we all do you know hey hit me up I would love to be able to tell you I'm not tech savvy on different things but you know I use anchor app and I really love it it's very simple you ain't got to be downloading a whole bunch of all stuff it's just you need that one app and they give you all the directions and on top of that you can get paid from it and they expand your fan base of listeners. You know, I got you know, a lot of my podcasts in different stations. I didn't know about until they sent me the, you know, the notifications of it. So I really love it. Um, and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, the Cash App is there as well. You know, whatever you're trying to um, bring into your uh, fruition of your manis, you know, I'm sending you whatever vibes you're needing. Please stay persistent, consistent, dedicated, and motivated. You know, there's times where it, it, it is very elongated at times, but that means you, you're truly getting a value of what you know you're connecting with and what you're you're bringing out to the world just being uniquely you so you know stay consistent and persistent you know the devil and the enemy will try to they will see you and sniff your your, your light and your potential out in miles away so they will try to convince you make you doubt yourself and doubt your own existence and you know be trying to make you give up today just because they knew that blessing of opportunity is going to come blowing open tomorrow so you know one door shuts and like five more open so stay stay going on so even through moments of uh 
uh, social distancing, please give out love, light, positivity, words, about frequencies. You never know. That can really take somebody a long way. And when you're having no reason for just doing that and just wanting to see somebody grow and heal, hey, it'll take you even further. Have a blessed, safe week. Please be, uh, I will send prosperity and abundance in every form your way. And much love to you. God bless. May God continue to bless your journey. Namaste. Shalom. I say peace. Much love. God bless.